My name is Brain of Terror and I'm an NSO at Dublin Roller Derby. In this video I'm going to look at unusual situations which may come up but are quite unlikely as a scorekeeper. So let's say we are now in period 2 and we're in jam 1 and let's say our jamming number is 7-4. And you manage to get lead, wonderful. And the other team is not doing great at all. So you manage to get 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and you've got a problem now because you've had, you know, 9 scoring passes, so what do you do about the 10th scoring pass? Uh, so the answer is that in the trip 10 here for your uh, ninth scoring pass, you would do plus 5 and keep on going as needed until it all adds up. So you just keep on doing plus five, plus four, whatever the number is, and squeeze it all into the trip 10 column. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a 50 point jam, uh, which brings our total then to 135. So let's say then we're going into jam two. And next scenario to consider is the six point pass. So I say our jammer number is 777. And once again, managed to get lead and managed to get six points because, well, the other jammer is being very slow and both them and the pack managed to, pack, to pass them. So you just put down six and then the rest is as normal. Now, the thing about six is that most people only have five fingers. So usually in this sort of weird situation, the jammer ref will just make it up as they go along and do like this. It's like, look, there's six fingers. And at the end of the jam, they should come over to you. And if they don't, you should call them and uh, say what happened there and explain, oh, there was a six point jam. Uh, because anytime there's something weird like that, you want to you know converse with your jammer ref and confirm what happened. Uh, other than that, it's just normal. And then that's 146. The next situation, which is similar, so let's say they're going back to 7-4, is what happens if you manage to score points on your initial pass? So normally you only start scoring points on your scoring pass after you've exited the engagement zone. However, it is possible if the other jammer falls behind, similar to the six point pass case, for the pack and the jammer to lap them and get a jammer lap point uh, on your initial pass. So what you do in that case is you put down one uh, plus and then whatever the number of points is. So if this was a normal situation and you continued on, managed to get lead and you know, manage to score some points. Maybe it ends up there and cause the jam. So then that's six points and it's at 152. The other case that could happen uh, where you have a situation where there's points in the initial pass, seven. So you come in and you get your point, but then you don't actually manage to exit the engagement zone before the jam ends. So in this case, you put your X because you didn't manage to complete your initial pass. And here we signal, okay, it's one point for the initial and then NI to say, wait, we didn't manage to do the rest. So then 153. It is possible to get more than one jammer lap point in this scenario, but that's even rarer again. Uh, the next case then is the overtime jam. So let's say that the period has ended and however, well, we have 153 points, this white team does, and black team also has 153 points. So after double checking all your math is right, although you can only correct basically the last jam, uh, there will be an overtime jam. Now overtime jams are different in that there is load need, no lead jammer and you score points on the initial pass uh, against blockers in the normal fashion as if it was a scoring pass. So something weird has happened. So it's always good when something weird happens to put a note on the side saying there's an overtime jam. It's jam five. And let's say seven four is doing it. 
Now, because there's no lead jammer, there's no way you can have an X here. You can't lose lead. Someone may manage to do an illegal call off. Uh, hopefully not. Injury is still possible, as always, unfortunately. And the no initial pass still applies. However, you can get many points on this. So if you manage to get out, uh, you might end up with four for your initial pass, which is now a scoring pass. And maybe you get five on the next one. And four here, four here. If so, to here it points all add up, so that's nine, and four is 13, and four is 17 points, which will get you to 170. And hopefully, there is no longer a draw. And then, in the event that the you do not get onto the first scoring pass, you know, in the second trip through the pack, uh, that will be 4 plus NI, and the NI would get an X. Uh, similar to the case here, where you manage to get a jammer lap point without ever actually exiting the engagement zone and completing your initial pass. So that's to, ha to handle some of the more unusual and quite rare cases uh, as a scorekeeper.